All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've been making all these videos on like Makara guides and so forth and so on, and my voice is kind of going, so I'm going to keep this kind of short. Um, but I'm sitting here leveling Test Pally so I can get him up to 40 so we can try the um, Holy Shock Spirit rotation uh, kind of deal for leveling Paladin. And I'm listening to um, Asmongold um, talk about some $100,000 uh, hardcore tournament drama. I suggest you go watch the video, uh, like uh, Asmongold's video. Um, but basically, he uh, it's just drama centered around people gold buying in the tournament. Like, you know, like, yeah, duh, right? Um, but how do I put this? Uh, my take on the whole tournament is a, I, I'm, I'm kind of with Guzu on this. Uh, at the beginning of the video, um, uh, Guzu says some stuff. I guess I can play it real fast. Go over here and listen to some Guzu stuff. The whole th reason why I'm not doing the tournament, I believe, is just... Overall, I think I would burn out super hard on doing it. I would really, really just, it would just not be fun for me. Um, I also think it's very sweaty with the amount yeah, of like gold I buying agree. that's been happening with it. People getting, it's just about who can get the most help and stuff like that. Yes. And I think I would just rather do chilled, cool stuff with my warrior. Focus on that, doing community things, doing just chatting stuff, doing some cooking streams, doing variety. And also, I'm planning to perhaps do a trip to BlizzCon. So I do want to maybe prep for that too, all right? To summarize, I guess... The so there it is. And uh, Guzu doesn't really... He's, he's dropping out. I mean, honestly, I would if I was him too. We have a lot of people that are competing in this tournament. Bro. He not going to beat these guys. <laughs> I'm not going to beat these guys. You're not going to beat these guys. These are the best players in the world. It's just not going to happen. Like, that's just a fucking fact. And, uh, yeah, it's sweaty. It's not even just sweaty. These are people that have been rank one gladiator for a fucking decade. Okay? Like, yeah, you're not going to... Yeah, I'm already 60 and 1. Yeah, Zico. Yeah, bro, like, you're not going to beat Zico. All right, so the TLDR on this, let's get his eyes up. Uh, the TLDR on all of this is what they're saying is that when you do a tournament like this, there's going to inherently be some un unbalance, uh, some imbalance in such a tournament. Now, SVAN and others uh, are trying to say that what they really want to see in, in an open tournament like this is they want to see the quote-unquote the dark horses and the best PVPers in the world, like, you know, not just streamers and so forth and so on. Um, Guzo is 100% correct, obviously, in that it really matters a lot how much um, uh, people can power level you in, in a tournament like this. Uh, so, for example, when you're going into Blackrock Depths, um, you know, it's going to be, you're going to need boys feeding you gold and feeding you gear and, and all that stuff and yada, 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 just to get an advantage over people. Um, there is one thought that I had, though, and this might actually become the meta for Makara dueling tournaments in the future in, in general, especially if you want to, if you actually wanted to do an an open tournament and get some dark horses involved as opposed to uh, peop having all of us sitting here and complaining about the power that streamers and uh, um, people who are wealthy enough to do like, you know, spend like $10,000 on gold transfers um, and stuff like that is basically this. Um, what if you did Makara tournaments using Auction House Andy gear only? And then you put a restriction on the auction house Andy gear, meaning that you couldn't actually buy epics. Um, it might only be green items only off the ep uh, off off of the auction house um, with a blue weapon or something out, out, out of a dungeon, right? That seems incredibly realistic to me uh, for Makara tournaments, and it also seems very very practical to me if if that makes any sense. So, for example. I heard about this Makara thing, and I thought about doing it myself, uh, but then I thought about it because I have the time, basically. I have the time, I've got the clout, I've got the people who, who, who love me and can help me out in the game, you know, blah, 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 blah. I could probably fix the lag issue, I definitely have the game knowledge, like, dear God, do I have the game knowledge. Um, might as well do a tournament like this, but then I started thinking about it, and I was like, wait a minute. Um, the level of sweat that you have to put into a tournament like this because they haven't actually put any restrictions on gearing uh, to benefit um, somebody like myself is absolutely ridiculous. So if you wanted to actually do a tournament like this properly, in my mind, you should make it a, a, a an auction house Andy tournament. 
and put restrictions on the quality of the gear that, that people can get off of uh, um, Auction House Andy, basically. Um, if that was the case, they'd be giving us plenty of time to do this tournament. There's limits on the gearing. I don't have to treat it like I'm trying to get to do the rank 14 grind to compete in the tournament. And uh, everyone's gear is going to be about the same. And if you die and you lose your character, it's not that big of a deal because it was an Auction House Andy character. Um, I also think the level 60 is a little bit extreme, but that's basically when you get all your class abilities. So that, 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 that kind of makes it to me. Um, TLDR on this is, I sit here and I wonder the following in my brain. So question number one is, if the tournament would be much better if it was an, uh, an open tournament and it was Auction House Andy only, meaning specifically, no gear from dungeons other than possibly a blue weapon, and all you can only use gear off Auction House, but it can only be um, green gear off of Auction House. Um, that in my mind would be the superior open tournament. So in my brain, the only reason not to do an open tournament like that would be if there were some shenanigans going up uh, two possibilities. One, the organizer of the tournament are stupid, not, not, not going to, um, S fans involved. Um, <laughs> S fan tips out, uh, are, are involved a bunch of other people who I would cock an eyebrow at as far as their actual intelligence, uh, would be concerned here. Um, Zico is not one of them. Um, Zaryu is definitely not one of them. I got respect for Zaryu. Uh, but when you're like, let, let's, let's, let's analyze the, the, the dueling tournament rules and we go to tips out, my brain's like, oh boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have to wonder about shenanigans behind the scenes because the rules of the tournament are actually heavily favoring, um, streamers, like no people who have no life can can make money off of 24 7 the game can get massive amounts of help um to to for people to go do the dungeons and the the rules of the tournament are essentially what's the phrase i'm looking for they're they're not designed in such a way that really helps the person who doesn't have a lot of time to play um who uh just getting a 60 on hardcore would be an achievement for them People who don't have a lot of money to spend on gold, which, let's be honest, is going to be something stupid, like 90% of the player base of classic World of Warcraft, uh, the rules don't benefit us. They're, they're, they're basically set up to try to screw us over. And so I have to wonder why they're there in the first place when you could easily do some Auction House Andy stuff. Anyways, that's where I just want to make a quick video and tell you guys that that's kind of where my brain is at on the subject. Um, and to see what you guys, uh, uh, think about it. But the more I, more I think about it and the more I look into it, I'm like, am I making a mistake sitting here and making videos for you guys instead of actually trying to compete in the tournament? And I'm like, damn son, um, possibly, but I, I, I feel like whether, whether we, I like it or not, there's going to be shenanigans behind the scenes that I can't even see. I'm seeing shenanigans up front to say that it's not favoring dark horses, and I can definitely see it that that the sh uh, things that are going on with the design of it is favoring streamers. Therefore, why should I even trust the tournament in general not to have other shenanigans behind the scenes to favor streamers even more? If you get where I'm going with this, it's a hundred dollars, a uh, hundred thousand dollars on the line. If you think there's not shenanigans involved behind the scenes, you're out of your damn mind. Um, anyways, I'm gonna end the video here and uh, Deus Volt, boys.